So when it was uh, February of 1989, uh, Joanne Drake asked me if I would go to do President Reagan's first trip as a private citizen, and it was to Penticton, British Columbia. And this was me on the ground with one Secret Service agent and one Mountie. The plane arrives in Penticton, British Columbia, so we get to the hotel, we go up to the suite that has been arranged, and on the way somewhere, Fred and Mark had gotten a call from the White House saying they needed to talk to them, because that was the day that John Tower was, uh, had been nominated to be Secretary of Defense, and they'd pulled his nomination, and they decided they were gonna nominate Dick Cheney instead. So Fred and Mark went over to talk, talk to the White House, and I'm like this with President Reagan, and he says to me, Oh, Dick Cheney, what do you think of Dick Cheney? And I'm a process person, I'm not a, I'm not a policy person, but I had heard the news earlier that Dick Cheney, you know, was gonna be the nominee and that he had been on armed services. So I said to him, well, Ms., uh, Mr. President, I think, you know, he was chief of staff to President Ford and that was winding down Vietnam, so I'm sure he has some knowledge there. And I, I think he was on armed services when he was in Congress. And President Reagan said, oh yes, that's right, that sounds right. And I said, would you excuse me a minute? And he said, sure. And I walked out and I went, ah! <laughs> you know, like the, I had to like regulate my system because he had never before asked me what I thought. He had, he had asked me plenty of questions like who, you know, where am I going and all that stuff. But to ask me what I think. And when I, when I reflected on his legacy to me personally, it was that legacy of the feeling that if you're in the room, you must be valuable, you must have an opinion that matters. And he asked people what they thought. And, and that to me, that legacy of leadership, I'm, I'm now, I've been an executive coach for 20 years. And that, that kind of leadership is the kind of leadership that we, we need. You know, he was formal without being stuffy. He was a person of integrity without being kind of a preachy or, or over the top with it. And I think that there's a level of um, honoring people when you have that kind of, it's not really a formality, it's a respect. And I, that's something that I think I've learned from President Reagan.